take off your glasses. You can't see without your glasses. Oh, God, I can't see without my glasses. How are we going to read this visual novel? Ah, uh, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. It's my life constantly. Oh, oh no. Just every day. Uh, I think we're on page like six. It haunts me. God, are you, are you doing okay, my dude? Never. Oh, life is hard. It sure is. I've decided recently that life shouldn't be hard. Uh, yeah, but if you think about that too hard, uh... Life gets harder. It sure fucking ass does. Wow. Living. All done! <laughs> All done with complaining! <laughs> We're done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. Uh, I insist that sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy dry tool or heavy dewy tool. You're a heavy dewy tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that. Damn it! <laughs> oh, welcome back. Oh my. Wow, these are such interesting character designs. Yeah, do you want me to read one of them? I do want you to read one of them. Okay. Do you, uh, do you want Betty or other asshole? I want other asshole. Okay. Uh. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. <sighs> Not you two. <laughs> eh, do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! <sighs> See, those sounds have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um, who is he? Gillian. It's Gillian, isn't it? It's Gillian. Is it Gillian? Yeah. God damn it. Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell. I'll have a beer, too. Two beers coming right up. All right, we can do this. Let's get them two beers. Beer. A big old beer. How many times do you think you've said that in the same LP? A, a big old beer? Yeah. Oh, just so many times, because I love to remember that cat bug is the thing that exists. I, God, yeah, I, so here's the thing, I suspise, suspicionize, mm -hmm. su su spiderize, uh, revolutionize, spider I love spiderize, that uh, we say the same damn things over and over again, but because it's spread over like 20 videos, y'all don't notice, or do you notice? Oh God. Fuck. Well, now that you've said something, Tony, Fuck. the channel will go down in flames. It will. Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work, beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess even we came. Uh, I guess even when we came here uh, with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Uh, mm, premium. <coughs> Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Jill, that is a horrifying thing to say. She was saying weird fucking shitty things to us, Tony. No, no, I agree. No, I agree. But also, whoa. What? Just kick her out. Ugh. Like, really, just kick her out. Ugh. Should you be saying that with at least 6,000 people listening? Let them hear. I don't care. 6,000 people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. In fact, there's even in the soundtrack of this game called, uh, her song is Go Go Streaming Chan. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. 
I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us. Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera is against the table. I don't know how many are still on the channel, though. I see. So, there will be a lot more witnesses if something's said? Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism? What did you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying, Miss Thompson's a cunt. Wow. Why do you do that? <laughs> because Miss Thompson was a cunt. <laughs> oh my god. She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. Well. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. Well. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So, how's stuff up at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Oh my god, that sounds so cute. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah that, that one. one. <laughs> we had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. I literally, we've seen enough people. I literally don't even remember who that was. We haven't, she hasn't been in. Oh. Jill just told the story about her before. I, I like that they heavily imply that there have been many people like out and about before, you know, we've actually been playing the game. Right, right. Oh. But, but anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Uh, Two Brantinis, then. Uh, the Brantini is another uh, classic, classic one in our repertoire. Yeah, for sure. Tony, you should be able to mix a Brantini in your sleep. Oh my god, Tony, will we be able to make actual drinks after playing this game? I, Tony, well, bartend for me. You know, I, you know, Mal, I will bartend. Tony, tender. No, I Tony, will. I totally tender. will. I'll give Tony, you six tender. aldehyde. I'll give you three powdered delta and even a carmatrine, but not. Wow. I'll age it. Will you mix it, though? No, not mix, no. because then it turns into a shitty pixelated mess. That's blended. It's supposed to be mixed. There you go. Oh, God, you're right. You have such a wimpy taste in drinks, Deal. Not all of us spent their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Same. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes? Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. So are these two like fashion designers, I guess? They work for dogs. I, I mean, I know they work for the dogs, but... I don't know. It's so cliche that I can't help but cringe when not looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche, you just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. C kick Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why'd you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine. Guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. I need to go all Emma on her. It's a matter of honor honor she says well maybe honor isn't the right word but she has potential and i'm not gonna let her waste it uh jill i'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof all right she's your boss right didn't you meet her before nope i'm just the veterinarian the dogs were the ones that organized a meeting with her i'd say she's really good looking but honestly those pants rob her of her charm what do you mean they make her look too uptight, and at a glance she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt, skirt would fit her better. It's hmm. December! It's December! It's, December. it's cold out! It's, well, 
Well, maybe. I, th- I think it's cl- I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's not cold we don't, out. We don't know what the climate is like in the future. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has good hearing. No, she has nice hearing. I know I didn't get that, so I changed it to good. No, but my point being that that seems like a Jill thing to say. Yeah, Jill totally has a crush on our boss. (laughs) Absolutely. That's unhealthy. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing. You actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. I... I did? (laughs) What did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. (laughs) You seemed interested in what I said. Like you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil then? Hmm. Uh, hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Ha. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste in drinks. You'll thank me later. Trust me. Then... Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well? You shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Jesus Christ. Manly. Uh, that's the type, not yes, flavor. Manly not, not a drinks. manly flavor. A strong manly drink. All right, so of course we can do our classic gut punch. I want to do something, one we haven't What's done. What's the crevice spike? That's optional, Karma Treen. It will knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you out cold. I feel it's like we sobering. Don't want to we do don't that. want that. Uh, I'm always f- afraid. Yeah, yeah, it didn't go back. Okay. Mars okay. Blast. Enough to leave your face red like the actual plant. Spicy, manly, strong. I, I think that's, that's good. That's strong. We haven't done it's this one. manly. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I, we have done it, but that's fine. Yeah, but if you just pretend and forget. Oh, right. Of course. Oh, this is a big drink. It is big. It's just barely a big drink, though. It's a big old drink. Oh, are you doing that thing again? <laughs> Where I say it's a big old drink. Wait, was H supposed to be checked there? No. I feel like I didn't click on it. it was you just... did click on it. Oh. You fucked it up, Tony. Wait, what did I do? Wait, six. One. Two. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm gonna have to do it the only way I know how to do this. No, one, you really one, don't two, need to three, do it four, that five, way. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, Tony, you can just see it visually. I, I can't, that's not enough. It's not enough. There are five in each row. Like, that is not enough, my friend, who is Mal, 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 Mal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I love it when you say my name like that, Tony. <laughs> so, cr- mal, 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 <laughs> Mal, Mal. Croon to me softly, Tony. Mal, 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 Mal. <laughs> oh, man. I spent like 45 minutes pretending to be a robot with children today, so my voice... <laughs> keeps like trying to slip into the robot voice that I was doing for a long it's, is time. That, is that why you chose uh, shoot, I already forget his name. Deal. Is that why you chose Deal? <laughs> I mean maybe subconsciously. I see. Here. Now, drink. Mm. Oof. Oh, oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? Uh. You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank? Uh. Jill? First year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Oh man, somebody did that to me once. (gasps) Except it was in fifth grade and it was a birthday party. God. I know. That's up, that's that's the, is the equivalent though. That's it the really is. That's just as bad. Yeah, I'm still a no, I'm still pretty mad about it actually. Yeah, that person is not with us anymore. 
Oh God. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I. The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, why the question? <laughs> hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. <laughs> Why the question, though? Uh, um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousin has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of crap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. Uh, oh. I si what? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't be offended. Gina, which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, <laughs> but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. God, there's so many like women judging other women by their boobs in this world that I just don't believe it. Yeah. Like I, I don't believe that. No, me neither. I, that's not. That's not how it does things. Alright, I'm really liking this game, but bad writing. Yeah. Bad, bad writing. Yeah, it makes me feel like men program this game. Yeah, that's the one. Well, it's getting late. she's not straight, Wait. I guess. No, I, that, does, that doesn't get a pass from me. No. I mean, I'm not saying no. it gets a pass. <laughs> no. I'm saying it's, like, nice. That it's, that it's uh, there and existing. No, in my mind, it's just as bad person. Well, I'll spit on you like an alpaca. Well, it's getting late. You should not spit on me. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Make sure to spit on Tony. Bye. Please come again. I'll spit on them. Back. Those damned cats moving the internet antenna. Oh, yeah. Gil, some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late. Whatever that means. Oh, shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. <laughs> Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. <laughs> Hello, Jill. Oh, wow. I'm amazed you remembered what voice you were doing for her. <laughs> yeah, me too. Aw, oh, Stella. You're here for another drink today? Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Uh, anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house and thought that someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Oh, <gasps> she brought us a gift. That's really fun. Really? I, I don't know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing, really. Uh, um, this just No, in. I want to do it. <laughs> okay, fine. This just in. <laughs> hmm? The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... Oh, God! Say! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's awful. All right, well, if you want to find out what happens to Say, uh, you should join us on the next episode of Valhalla. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button. We also have a Patreon if you want to go check that out. Uh, we have fun stuff like our Discord channel where you can chat with us. Uh, you can check out previous live streams and even get some stickers and buttons if you want to go for the higher pledge. So uh, you should go check that out in the end card or in the video description. So we'll see you later. Bye. Oh, I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it.